when you need to talk to a private eye. You want to be talking to Jim Rockford. That's right. He's the one to talk to. They don't know who you're talking to. R-O-C-K-F-O-R-D. He's got everyone talking. What kind of low life is he? Takes out half-page ads in a phone book. I seem to recall a phrase, moderately intelligent private detective. You have a smart mouth. You're right. You're right, I do. But I'm working on changing that. Jim Rockford is all the talk on MeTV. He's something else, all right. Weekdays at 11, 10 Central on MeTV. Hi, I'm John Malos, and welcome to Connect With Me, live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. Today, it's on the air, off the presses. We're talking with Nick Papagni of ESPN Radio. We'll talk to him about that new contract they acquired. They took that away from KMJ after a 43-year run. They'll be broadcasting the Fresno State Sports. Your phone calls encourage 265-4331. Back in a moment. Now, this has been one of the weirdest weeks I can remember. We have a new Pope, of course, and it kind of threw our schedule off. We had two shows back-to-back -back talking about the Pope. First on, uh, what was it, Wednesday, we had Father Mike Listeri out of Hanford come in and talk about the election of the Pope. And then yesterday, Jim Grant of KNXT Channel 49 came in to talk about the election of the new Pope. And today, you know, we were supposed to have Denny Boyles from PG&E, but there was an emergency at at uh, Shaw and 6th Street with a natural gas uh, pipeline, a leak there. So natural gas is leaking all over the place. He had to bail out. So now we have a different guest today. But Denny Boyles is going to be on the phone here just momentarily talking about that uh, little bit of a mini disaster over there at uh, Shaw and 6th Street. Anyway, we're going to talk about on the air, off the presses. Nick Papagni is our guest today. We're talking about ES. PN Radio, or Kino, whatever you want to call it, but they took the rights away. They outbid KMJ. That ended KMJ's 43-year run. Let's go to the videotape. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hey, there is ESPN, 14.30 a.m., or, you know, it's uh, Kino, it's KJUL, it's K-F-I-G-K-E-P-T. You know, this is very confusing, but there are four stations all together. In the foreground, you see Chris Pacheco. He is one of the owners of ESPN Radio. He worked as a salesperson at KMJ for many years. He wanted to climb to the top. He left KMJ Radio. He's a former Fresno State football player, played under Coach Jim Sweeney. But not long ago, ESPN Radio, as I said, ended KMJ's 43-year run after signing a six-year deal with Fresno State for roughly five to six million dollars, it's one putt broadcasting. That means all the games, baseball, football, basketball, you'll be able to hear those games on ESPN Radio, not KMJ. Live in our studio right now is Nick Papagni. He is from 940 ESPN Radio. You know, it's no longer 1430. That video was shot a while back. But he anchors a couple of shows on Thursday. He anchors a show on ESPN Radio uh, from noon to 2. And then today, he'll be on from 3 to 6 p.m., a three-hour show on 940 uh, ESPN Radio. We're going to talk to Nick about all the changes. We'll talk to him about broadcasting. We'll talk to him even about KMJ. Your phone calls are important. 265 43 3-1, we encourage you to call in. We'll also talk to Denny Boyles by phone about that uh, disaster that's going on at Shaw and 6th Street. We're back with our program in just a moment. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. I'm Chip Douglas. Welcome home, Mr. 
And I'm Ernie Douglas. James Bond, Secret Agent 007. And we're here to tell you... Ernie! Just a minute, Uncle Charlie. Come on, Ernie, you're going to be late for school. We're doing a promo for Me TV and Jump. Ernie, Chip. Yes, Dad. Come here a minute, will you? We'll be down in a minute. As I was saying... <laughs> Tramp, be quiet. <laughs> Tramp? Hey, have you guys seen Robbie? Oh, hi, I'm Katie Douglas. We're my three sons. Ernie, I had to learn about women like Melissa through long, tough experience. Let me make my own mistakes. They're half the fun. And one daughter-in-law. Thanks. Now I really feel like one of the family. Watch me on me. Me TV. You think girls are just boys' gift wrap? <laughs> Weekday mornings at 7, 6 central on Me TV. It's real neat. Back with our program. We'll be back with uh, Nick Papagni in just a moment. We're going to talk uh, to Denny Boyles right now of, uh, of PG&E, I should say. Uh, good morning. How are you, Denny? I'm good. How are you, John? Hey, pretty good. So I understand at uh, Shaw and 6th Street, there was a little bit of a mini disaster out there early this morning. A construction worker, I understand, hit a natural gas pipeline. Is that right? Yeah, so what it was, there's a contractor. He was doing some what's called directional boring. Uh, where you're drilling underground, you know, you dig one hole and you drill at an angle or, you know, perpendicular to that hole underground. Um, it's a fairly common practice. Um, but what happened in this case is the contractor uh, had two problems. They had what's called an expired tag. So they, they had told us last month they were going to be doing some digging, but it was in an, a different area. Uh, that tag expired. They didn't call back in. So essentially, you know, they were digging in an area without knowing uh, what was underground, and they hit uh, what we believe to be a six-inch steel high-pressure transmission line. Uh, the problem is the trench that holds that line also has a six-inch distribution line. So our first challenge is to figure out which of those two lines uh, was actually hit or both, uh, and then we're going to, you know, start repairs. But it, it's a pretty big impact. You have over 300 businesses, several apartments that have been evacuated. Uh, gas and electric service has been cut off for this entire block of Shaw. The road itself is closed, will likely stay closed through tomorrow morning. Uh, you know, you have uh, our command center is set up out here. We have the fire department out here. The fire chief for the city of Fresno is here along with uh, you know, probably close to 100 firefighters just for safety. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. So the gas is leaking as we speak, huh? The gas is. I, you know, I'm about... Uh, probably about two blocks from it. Uh, you can smell it. You know, we add a odorant to natural gas called Mercaptan, and that's what you smell. It's a harmless odorant. Uh, natural gas just has no natural odor. Are there uh, any it is blowing. It's, it's dissipating. There's not an immediate threat to anybody, but, you know, you secure the area because the last thing you want to do is have somebody, you know, smoking a cigarette walk up to the gas leak and, and ignite it. Right. Any injuries? No. No. No one no injured. injured. Okay, so right now the area is secured right around uh, Shaw and 6th Street. A natural gas leak is going on. So you're talking for the next 24 hours, don't go near the area of Shaw and 6th. Is that right? Correct. Shaw is closed right now between 1st and 6th Street. Um, and, you know, there's some side streets that I think the fire and police department might have closed off as well. How, how long do you think it'll take to try to secure that gas leak and, and close it off so the gas stops leaking? Well, I mean, that's the, the first challenge is once we find the line, because it's a steel line, it's a different process. Our guys are actually going to have to dig a hole to work in, and then they'll use welding equipment to cut into the line and then weld the valve onto the line um, to secure it between the nearest valve and the brake. So once they find the brake, they'll dig a hole several feet away, and, and they actually weld into the line. That, you know, it, it's natural gas is flammable, obviously, um, but they've, you know, it's just something we've done before, and they can safely do it uh, in a controlled environment, weld right on through the line. Okay, I appreciate it. I know you were scheduled to be our guest here on Connect With Me this morning, but you've agreed to come on our show on Monday. Is that correct? Yeah, ma'am. But, you know, it's a, <laughs> unfortunately one of the natures of the job is that you know, when, you're, yeah, I know. when you have an emergency response job as well, uh, sometimes things happen. No, we totally understand, and this is a major deal in Fresno. You don't see this too often, uh, and uh, a major uh, intersection like Shaw and Six being closed off for 24 hours, you don't see that in Fresno very often. No, and, you know, it, it, you know every time it happens, it just reemphasizes the need to, to use the services that are in place. There's a free service. If you call 811, uh, free service will come out and mark any underground utilities in the area you're going to work. And, unfortunately, okay. what happens... 
uh, probably 99% of the time, uh, you know, people either call and get, tell us the wrong area or they don't call at all. And uh, what's unfortunate is, as it will be the case here, a contractor who doesn't call is liable uh, for all of the costs associated with it. Right. Okay, Denny Boyles of PG&E, we appreciate your time, taking the time to call us here on Connect With Me. We'll see you bright and early on Monday morning. <laughs> I'll see you Monday, John. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Denny Boyles. So stay away from Shaw and 6th Street. You're not going over there, are you, Nick? Well, my daughter's <laughs> in the sororities. i got to give her a call. hope Gianna's okay. Yeah. She's right, right behind I hope Shaw so. and 6th. Yeah, they cleared the whole area out of there yeah. because, as you know, it's flammable. Anybody who lights up a cigarette, the place will go up in flames. A whole bunch and, of restaurants uh, out yeah. over there? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the whole area has been evacuated, according to uh, Denny Boyles. No injuries, so stay away from Shaw and 6. Anyway, Nick Papagni, ESPN welcome. Radio, welcome to the program. Thank you very yeah, much. It's been a while since you've been uh, on the show. Yeah, and last we time was baseball it. season last year. Yeah. Yeah, so what's going on? Since we last talked, a lot of things have happened. Uh, of course, ESPN now going to carry Fresno State sports. Uh, what does that mean to the station? We are fired up. And I, really? I think it's it's really good for both. I always believe, in, and I think it's good for Fresno State, we can, we can promote sports 24 hours a day. KMJ is by far the best news people there is. They do news. We do sports. Fresno State has a sports program so i think it's good for them they wanted to be with sports and now since john oslin and chris pacheco formed partnerships we got the fifty thousand watt station so it's as strong as kmj so that was huge all right so it is fifty thousand watts because kmj i mean obviously you can hear kmj at the coast you can hear right. kmj in sacramento it goes far east and west and north and south will espn radio have the same capacity as yes. kmj you can go all the way to chico all the way past the grapevine. So, yes, it's the same 50,000 wattage, and it's that's huge for us. So that's Every, what KMG wanted. Everything. I Nick, mean, I'm sorry, Fresno State wanted. Everything, Nick, boils down to money. I had heard uh, through various sources that the most that KMJ was able to make in terms of sales to sell the product, Fresno State Sports, was about four or $500,000 a year. I would heard in order for Chris Pacheco to even break even, He's going to have to sell a million dollars worth of advertising. Is that possible? See, you know more than I do about okay. things like I have. We have no idea. We, what we do know is they are they are hustling right now to get this going. The contract starts for foot. You don't football know what season. it's going to take, in other words, to break even on this. Deal. I have no idea. I right. I do I do uh, our show, so I don't get involved with the insides of the what's going on and the how much they're going to make. What I do know is the salespeople are. Are, are, are working They're strong. They're hustling to get that. right now. Yeah, and I, I, I it's really going to take a good. hustle, don't you think? It really just to is. break even on this And deal. I think this is what Fresno State needed. Fresno State Sports well, why? has been. Why? Well, I think it's been since wrestling left, okay. 2005, 2006, somewhere in that area. Fresno State Sports has been just treading water. And I think now, since Chris Pacheco, what we do best is we really pump up sports. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what Fresno State needed to bring it back, get people back in well, the stands. Well, it's not that KMJ didn't pump it up. Well, they're new. They had 43 years they're of pumping news. it up. So, to me, but it's, it's a like, different. Why is it different at ESPN? Well, f for me, it's like if you're going to an Italian restaurant, you're not going to ask for tacos. Okay, they do news, we do sports. Fresno State needed to be on a sports station. So this is what I'm talking about. They came out with a when KMJ by far is a bet. Like I said, they do great with news. They're not a sports station. So when the game comes on and the game's over, they're done. They don't promote it during the week. We do. We don't do news. But if I, if I have, if I, I think KMJ by far, they're, they're the best right. when it comes right. to news. Right. We do best when it comes to sports. Nick, unfortunately, we've got to take a break here. We're talking to Nick Papagni. Good of him to come in on short notice today, by the way. I called him around 8.30 in the morning, and he's agreed to come on our program. We really appreciate his time and patience with us. Hey, how about a phone call or two? 265-4331. The phone line is open. Are you going to know where to hear the Fresno State football games for next year? ESPN Radio. Where do you get that on your dial? Call in. Ask a question. Back in a moment. You ready, Bo? Let's go. Like the shields activated, Mr. Sulu. Automatics. And we're pushing to the limit. The situation critical. Base of action. Can't break loose. Peace or utter destruction. It's up to you. 
Star Trek, Saturdays at 9, 8 central on MeTV. Brought to you by Ventura TV. So if you're watching us on the replay at 7.30 tonight, obviously if you watch this program, you know we replay it at 7.30 on Comcast and 43.6. The natural gas uh, leak is still still be going on uh, at 7.30. The, the uh, roads at Shaw and 6th Street were blocked off until tomorrow morning. A natural gas leak, a natural disaster. The whole area has been cleared out, so stay away from there until sometime tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, we're talking to Nick Papagni from ESPN Radio. So let me ask you, Nick, our, you know, perception is everything, of course, in the media, too. It's, it's very big. Uh, KMJ is the big horse on the block. No they always question. have been. Yep. They don't have an identity problem. How are people going to know where to go to listen to these games? Fresno well, State football, uh, yeah. baseball, basketball. Well, I think they they I think people already know. I think sports listeners Really? Yeah, they 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 stick with their sports stations. I mean, it'll either But KMJ got more than just the sports listener because of their image, their their strength, their power. They are news. They yeah. are local news, national news. When there's a story, you go to KMJ. Right. We are the same thing when it comes to sports. Right. If there's a sports story, boom, they're going to 940 ESPN. And now, but are people going to know where to go to find oh, these games? Oh, of course. Yeah. You think so? Oh, not not no they, identity they problem. Know. They already know. They, if we we are going to promote it. We're going to pump it. And yeah, people already know that we are now the home of the Bulldogs. So yeah. that's not even a uh, question. Yeah. No word yet on who's going to do the play-by-play -play for Fresno State. Baseball, basketball, well, football. Well, baseball right now, yet. Is, right now it's Paul Leffler and Ray Ocanto doing baseball. Okay. Uh, during baseball, we also carry all the women's sports as well on 790. So right. we've been doing that for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we, we don't well, know. Paul Leffler is doing yet. football, base, uh, basketball. He did it last season. Yes. We don't know if he's going to make the switch over to uh, ESPN Radio yet because that all that has not been determined. That's correct. We're hoping he, he joins the right. team. He, Great he's play already, by play guy. Yeah, he's already on the team with, with ba uh, baseball. Right. And so he's going back and forth with uh, both stations. Basketball is now over. So mm -hmm. KMJ is officially done with sports broadcasting. The right. contract is still theirs until, I believe, at the end of August, yeah. until football starts. But we're now the new home of Fresno State, and we're fired up about it. Yeah. I know you don't – I don't know how much influence you have over there. I know you have. You carry a lot of weight over there, don't you, Nick? I'm trying to get Leffler. When it comes Leffler, to local sports, that's I'm what we do. I'm trying to get Leffler <laughs> and Pacheco back on this program here. So, well, Paul has, has not been on, but uh, uh, if you have any influence over there uh, – Stick I'll, the needle I'll, to him, let, hey, let, I, just a little bit. Getting a hold of Chris Pacheco right now is tough. He is on a roll. Uh, I'll, I'll work on it. Yeah, yeah I'll work on get him, him back on. Yeah, work he'll on give you all the answers. Yeah, right. Why is my phone ringing? Yeah, you told me to shut my <laughs> that phone That was off. Chris Pacheco. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn to the monitor here and uh, roll some videotape of Chris Pacheco. And you can talk about him. Okay. He's a former Fresno State football player. Uh, went into business with John Oslin, of course, of Kino Radio. What kind of a guy is he? Chris is a sports guy. Fresno State Bulldogs through and through. There's no, no one like Chris. And he's been working on this since he's been at Fresno State to bring Bulldogs to a station. And before when we were on 1430, we just didn't have the signal strength. But now, since he joined partners with, with John Oslin, 50,000 watts, this has been his dream. They both saw the vision of being Fresno State, home of the Bulldogs, and now they, <laughs> now they've got the, uh, they got the got Fresno State with them. But he is very vocal. He's loud. I mean, it's, he's a great guy to be around. He he is. It's game day every day with Chris Pacheco. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? He's in, like in his late forties. Uh, maybe early 50s, but he's like a 25-year-old. Yeah, he wants he? to wrestle you on the floor every day. So you just want to be careful. <laughs> What's up with he that? will hurt you. Yeah, no, he'll, he will. He'll grab he'll you from the you got to be full. You gotta, every time I see him, I stretch before I see him. And so just in case he grabs you, I don't want to pull my neck out of joint or anything. So. You know, I see his mom in church once in a while. And uh, uh, great guy, uh, Chris Pacheco, but we need to get him back here. So um, uh, how did he do it? How did Pacheco do it? How did he outbid KMJ? Was it that just KMJ just didn't want to do it anymore? Yeah. Or did Pacheco yeah. just go in and 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 grab it from them? Well, I think it was a little of both. I think, yeah, I think Fresno State knew in their heart that they needed to be on a sports station, and since fifty thousand watt nine forty was 
you know, in, invented, I guess you could say, in sports with John Oslin and Chris Pacheco. They, it just, it was, it, it made too much sense not to be on a sports station, so they can, we can promote it. For example, two years ago when we, when Fresno State played Cal at Candlestick, we pumped it all summer long, every day, commercial after commercial. There was twenty plus thousand people at Candlestick to watch Cal play Fresno State, because of the. The, the the pizzazz and the and the energy that night at that fourteen thirty brought in, and I just think, yeah, KMJ knew that they're a sports or a news station. They me, can't do that. Let me ask you a question: As a talk show host on ESPN, is it difficult to have that job here in Fresno? We have no professional sports teams here. All we have is Fresno State. Yeah, we have the Monsters Hockey. Yeah, we have what else? Other events maybe come. We got the Grizzlies. Yeah. But we don't have the Giants or the 49ers or the A's or the Raiders. So what do you talk about all the time when Fresno State's not even in season? Well, Matt Johnson, my partner and I, we're, we talk from Fresno State all the way to elementary school. There is so much local sports here. But uh, In terms of when you say so much local sports, what well, are you talking about in terms of what? High school. Sports. We got we got uh, Fresno City College, Fresno Pacific. Uh, you right. can go on and on. For, uh, Fresno State all the way down. We, we we don't have enough time to talk about all. So the there's things never going a on. shortage, is oh. what you're saying. No, not even during the summer when there's nothing going on. There's still that's something going. I'm talking going. about. That's that. Yeah, the the summer months are down. Yeah, Fresno State. They're you know they're preparing for the season, of course, for football. And but, you're talking about updates. What's coming up? Who's 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 coming on? Who's injured? Who's not injured? Yeah, there's there's so much to talk about. And plus, we carry the Giants. We carry the Lakers. There's so much. So to you talk do about. talk pro sports. We, yeah, we, we try. Well, I go 90 percent local, 10 percent national. Right. Uh, so on our on our show, and we, believe me, we don't have enough time to talk. But local. if the Giants are making a big run, you know, uh, like they have. There's you know, plenty I mean, to talk about. Summer, you're going to talk about. Oh heck yeah! Mark Gardner is a pitching coach for the Giants, former Clovis <laughs> Clovis High School, Fresno State, Fresno City. Plenty to talk about when it comes to local. Right. All right. We're talking to Nick Papagni, ESPN Radio. Hey, it's 9:40 on your dial. We're back. We've got no phone calls. Why are you? Come on, give us a call. Let's give go. Give us a call. Two six five four three three one. There must be somebody out there who's a sports fan. Two six five four three. We're back with Nick Papagni in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're working hard to be your place. And we're back with uh, Nick Papagni of ESPN Radio. Let me turn you to the monitor one more time. And sure. we did mention that uh, Chris Pacheco played uh, football for Jim Sweeney. He passed away recently, of course. And uh, there are some photos, of course, that we're going to show of uh, Jim Sweeney and... A very young Chris Pacheco. Very Look young. at that. Very, very With a very mustache, young. by the way. I can't tell which one's which. On no, yeah, I, yeah, which one's Pacheco no, in that photo? I can't photo? tell on that one right there. <laughs> I think Pacheco's on the left, isn't he? Yeah, I think that's just, <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. And so there he is without the mustache playing, uh, of course, uh, for Fresno State. Now, what position did he play? He was a nose tackle, played defense. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. He's a tough no, guy. No, no, he's very tough. He just clogs yeah. up the middle. So yeah. that's what he does. Do you no, think yeah. that Chris Pacheco lives his life or has lived his life based on what he learned from Jim Sweeney? Oh, no question about it. How so? Uh, just the values he brought in. Uh, There's Pacheco, a uh, cup of coffee with a ram. Yeah, there. he tried to be a ram at the one at one time when they had the when they had the uh, the strike season. So he gave it a shot. He wasn't mm -hmm. the biggest guy in the world. What did he learn from Sweeney, do you think? I think the values, the, the, the worth ethics, the uh, discipline, team effort. Uh, Jim Sweeney was just so good about that. Yeah. The raw, raw part of Jim Sweeney. Yeah, and Pacheco's got that raw, raw in here. Oh, no, no question, question about, about it. it. Yeah. We do have a phone call. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How are you? Hey, good morning. Morning, John. Uh, yeah, I, speak I up a little. I uh, forget the first name of the speaker. You're... Nick Papagni from Nick. ESPN Radio. Hey, I got a good one, Nick, for you. Uh, on your wattage, 
940. Right. Can you reach Pismo Beach? Yes, very clear. Okay, well, that sounds pretty good because we go there every once in a while, uh, especially in November, and uh, we do look for the uh, football uh, games or listen to them. And it's, it's important that we pick it up at that time. Okay, Nick, that's probably my first or last question. I probably have a few more, but I can't think of them right now. Well, let me ask you a question. Are yeah. you a regular listener to 940 ESPN? Uh, Will you tune not, in to listen? Not as often as probably I should be. I'm still kind of leaning. Um, I do like sports, basketball, football. Uh, I do lean towards KMJ still, and I feel bad for KMJ. Um I, I don't know. It's a mixed bag for me. Uh, I, I always thought they would carry it, and um, I know things change, some for, for the better, some for the worse. Well, if you if you want to listen to Fresno State sports, you're going to have to change. Yeah, <laughs> KMJ no right. longer carries the games. Yeah, John, you, you got your point well taken. Yeah. And, uh, and change is good. Change is good. Um, you know, I commend them. I do like uh, K Jewel. <laughs> so I appreciate your information and help, and I'll be keeping in touch. I'll, I'll start listening to 940, probably maybe a little more often, definitely. Good deal. Sport, hey, sport. appreciate the call. Okay, thanks, John. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right, I'm a little confused here. We have four stations under the one putt broadcasting umbrella. That would be KFIG. Which is 940. 940. ESPN. All right, KEPT. Is That's that our Deuce? sister station, ESPN, the Deuce. That that carries all the women's sports for Fresno State. All right, KJUEL, of course, we know, and Kino. Kino is now a music station, oldies. Right. Okay. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How are you? Good. How are you doing this morning? Hey, great. What's your question? Uh, my question is uh, geared towards the MSLB, uh, which Nick is a part of. Maybe you could talk a little bit about that uh, in detail, how people get involved and, and what the team ranges and ages are. Well, uh, yeah, you can go online. We're talking about men's senior baseball. Yeah. They, they have um, – go to Fres Fresno Men's Baseball. Sign up. This is a great time. I think it's coming up. The first game is in uh, first week, the week after Easter. And you can you can sign up 18 and over, and they have three or four different leagues. We'd love to have you. That sounds great. I appreciate your time, and uh, good luck with your season. Do you, right. do, you you. do you qualify for the Senior Baseball League? or? I, I do, yes, definitely. How old are you? Uh, I'm 43. Perfect. Okay. Hey, great. Yeah, he's in. And what position do you play? Uh, anything but catcher. Perfect. <laughs> You're All on right. the team. All right. Thank uh, you. Guys, Thank you for the call. Uh, this season. I'll talk to you soon. All right. And so the men's senior baseball league yeah. you're a part of. Yes. Uh, we had you on as a guest. Pat Marchese and I but showed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Went out there it's and a lot of stuff. fun. It's therapy for all of us. We play on Sunday. You don't have to be a great baseball player. Just come on out and have some fun. Yeah. That's the whole point of it, yeah, right? It really is. All right. The significance of this move is is how big? For ESPN Radio, absolutely huge. Uh, but I think it's it's big for Fresno State because they they just like I said, treading on water. This will get the the pizzazz going. We can pump up the sports. Football is going to be outstanding this year. Nick, what what do you make of KMJ and the and their drop in the ratings? Thirty five percent. They went from about being that. second. They're going to be fine. To fifth in the ratings, uh, they lost Rush Limbaugh. They lost Hannity. They lost Fresno State sports. What what's the future of KMJ? Do I you think, think they go back and they go back to the drawing board and they go back to local news. They go more local news station. Is this all right talk, there. format going to work for them? Yes. Why not? I th I really believe, just like we do local sports, we have a niche. Yeah. So if you're listening to Matt and I do local sports, where else are you going to get that? But if you're Patty Hickson over there at KMJ, you've got to be worried right now. Patty, right? I think is very smart. I love Patty. I think yeah. they're going to come back and do local news. And they'll do more local stories. That's what I think. They have a niche. We have a niche. And that's where. So if we're talking local, we're talking Clovis West baseball, Buchanan baseball. Where else are you going to get that? If we're talking New York Jets, you can get New York Jets all over the country. So KMJ will do the same thing. 
yeah. think it's I think it's a good move for them. The landscape has changed in radio and television. Look at that. Next Star buying 47 and 24. They're looking to buy KMPH. So many changes in radio. Nick, come back, will you? I sure You're will. Such a great guest. It's been fun and very accommodating. Yeah. Gracious to come on today on short notice. Nick Papagni of ESPN Radio. Listen to him on 9:40 today from 3 to 6. If you're watching at 7:30, a little bit late. Anyway, we're back on Monday with Denny Boyles of PG&E. Have a great weekend. Like me. Like me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV.